name is Clifford Fred. I'm from Whitehorse, Yukon. I was born and raised in Whitehorse, and I lived there until I was 16. At that, at that age, I left Yukon and moved to Edmonton to live with my father. And I didn't do much artwork at all until I was 19. And uh, then I started doing portraits of people and their pets and their property. I am an artist, I guess by trade, because I've been doing it all my life, mostly art. And um, I do fine detail pencil, as well as now metal fabrication, which I just recently graduated my second term from BCIT. I really had no intention at any time I'd like to ever go back to school. I never thought I'd be going back at the age of 44. Right? And when I did, it was, uh, I, I was glad that I did. Uh, I'm not too I'm closed in that I don't have any, like I, I won't accept new ideas from other people. You know, I'm not that kind of artist. I'm willing to listen and I'm open to other people's suggestions. Um, I just never expected to change my medium halfway through my life and start working in steel. Uh, but I'm very glad I did. What inspires me is um, seeing bits and pieces of other people's images, but not looking, I don't go looking for other people's art, I don't stare at other people's art, I don't go to art openings or things like that, but I get my, my, um, emo, I guess my, I, my creative juices flow when I see bits and pieces of other art. If I see something that looks like it was done with an artistic design, then uh, it gets me thinking, and if I'm in the right environment, then I'll sit down and I'll start doing some drawing. But if not, then I'll do a sketch, take it home, and then do a drawing. I'm inspired by the things that I see throughout the day. Well, I do what I do because I've been doing it since the age of five and a half. I started in grade one. We were living out at a fish camp when I was growing up, and we went to school from the bush. So at the age of one, or at the age of grade one, uh, I just started pencil drawing. Uh, the teachers had given me pen and paper, and it was a new toy. The best piece of advice I've been given was um, don't give up, try harder, do it again. Right? Uh, that's what the teachers used to tell me. Uh, when they would take my drawings away when I was drawing in class and they'd couple them up and they'd get back to work. Right? And I'd say, well, I wasn't finished that. And they'd say, well, you can do it again. And I did. And as a result, I became the artist I am. I don't have a life-changing moment that developed my art. I had moments that where my art has taken a change. Uh, once when I was 19, I, I did a portrait for a guy, and he, uh, he told all his friends, and they told all their family, before you know it, I was doing portraits, dogs and cats and boats, and stuff like that. The only reason I make art is because it's in me. It's, uh, I have these ideas and images uh, that go on in my mind, and the ones that I keep for myself, I don't share. And the ones that I put on paper are not for me, they're for other people. <laughs> the art that I most identify with would be my fine detail pencil and the portraiture. Um, because I don't put color in my images, um, the content has to be more dramatic. It has to be, has to be more catching because in the lack of, in the absence of color, uh, is the absence of emotion, right? And so the subject has to um, really capture that emotion that I'm trying to portray. And I use black and white because there is no lying in it. Everything you see, you can, you can see it in black and white. Right, um, for example, um, in court, they will only show you black and white photos so that the, the, the colors don't distract the, the viewer, right, which a lot of viewing can be, a lot of colors can distract the viewer. And, um, black and white, you get you have a chance to see everything that I saw. The themes I pursue are mostly images of pre-Columbian history, pre-Columbus history. Uh, and I draw images of things that happened before society developed, and I write poems about it, give people an idea what it was thinking, not what, it, what the art is. My favorite piece would be Untangled Spirits. It's the image of a grandmother, Mary Charles, the late Mary Charles and her granddaughter, um, Melissa. And uh, she's combing Melissa's hair, getting out the knots. And the, um, what I'm trying to emphasize in that image is the importance of keeping our elders 
living with our, our younger children because they have a lot more to teach them and the answers are more defined. And um, the answers come out as simple as the animals, which I've de depicted in the image. Um, and the poem is basically um, part of my life. The poem has come from experience in my life. Um, so it's something like, um, when racing the future, we can only give chase. Our actions today only hint at the pace. Yesterday's plans, when whispered today, without proper guidance, get carried away. I looked to the elders and hoped they would leave. In speaking of peace, they planted a seed. They gave me a message and left me alone. The next step from there was to walk on their own. The next step from there was to walk on my own. We gave it to them at the time of their birth, an innocent expression on the face of the earth. I hope that we gain from the land that we borrow an untangled spirit in the eyes of tomorrow. I like to draw alone when I'm by myself. I've done a lot of my artwork uh, by myself. However, I do not have a difficulty talking to people while I'm drawing, as long as they <laughs> don't talk about the drawing. <laughs> have in, in any society is that we have ideas and we have the ability to um, communicate to people of any walk of length with just one image. Uh, it's difficult to communicate with, with a, a thousand different people because everyone has their own way of learning but we use our artwork to express our ideas and that influences society. Um, usually unfortunately it influences them after we're gone because the people who can afford our art at that time are the ones who can make change. They're the ones with all the money, right? So art plays a very important role in changing society in, in a hidden sense. We don't see it, but a lot of the things that we have today were inspired by the images of yesterday.